A 3A sectional 28, West Noble at Norwell, Heritage at Lures, Concordia at Lakeland, Garrett at Belmont. Uh, I want to jump right into that Concordia at Lakeland game because you mentioned it a little while ago. Lakeland offensively, you know what they're going to do? Last week they ran for 581 yards. They passed for exactly zero yards. Um, Man. I think they were 0 for 1. I talked to Tim Manigle earlier today. Um, I can tell you for a fact Concordia is not taking Lakeland lightly, especially when you have to make the trip up north to the swamp. This feels like a game that could be like the finals, like 52 to 35 or something like that, Concordia mm -hmm. winning. I mean, it's just going to go back and forth. I think Concordia defense is, is able to get enough stops to then give the offense the football. I, I, it's going to be troublesome for Lakeland, I think, to slow down Concordia. Too many athletes, but Lakeland could put up a lot of points, even in, in defeat. I mean, you have to stop the run. You're talking about Adam Kreider is a pretty big dude for Lakeland. Yeah. They got the Paulus kid who rushed for over 200 yards last week. I mean, it's a one-two punch. They offer a little bit. Uh, a little something differently sure. out of the offensive backfield. But uh, if you're Concordia, man, you are selling out on the run this week defensively. You're stacking the box. You're taking chances on, on man coverage in the passing game. And you know what? If they beat you in the pass, then what are you going to do? But, you know, there's almost no threat on paper with, with that Lakeland pass offense. But they don't pass it because they haven't had to pass it. So mm -hmm. maybe they can catch Concordia off guard a couple times. Garrett and Belmont, that is the uh, bottom game. Bottom game of that bracket so the winner of Concordia Lakeland will get the winner of this one Garrett's two and seven Belmont's zero and nine but if you're Belmont you're always going to be the smallest team in that northeast state yeah you get beat up a little bit during the year this is a game where they have to be licking their chops thinking okay like we can win a game here it's at home it's in the postseason I think both teams are licking their chops because Garrett has taken a fair amount of losses mm -hmm. this year in close games Belmont's been competitive in the NE8 so both of these teams I think enter Friday going hey this is a great shot for us to get a win in the postseason and would help both programs going forward. So Belmont and Garrett both need a win on Friday. Yeah, on the top half, West Noble and Norwell intrigues me a bit because Norwell's been better this season mm -hmm. uh, than we've seen in years past. And West Noble, you know, if Angola's not in that conference, we could be talking about West Noble winning a conference title. They run the football well. Their defense is pretty stout. They're a good all-around football team. I was very impressed with Norwell on Friday. I was out at that game and was able to play Columbia City tough in an overtime, had the lead in overtime, gave up a touchdown and a two-point conversion. But that's a much-improved Norwell team, another team that I think feels, hey, decent draw, we can get a win, then who knows what can happen down the line.